Well, welcome back to the kitchen. I'm too cold to be in the shed just now. Still got some snow, but uh, it's all melting away. But my neighbour says there may be more next week. Oh, deep joy. Well, today I've got a Philips 614 stereo record player in bits. And uh, this is quite a common fault with this particular model. You quite often see them on eBay and it says uh, no sound through one channel or no sound at all. And uh, this is a curious mixture of ancient and modern, this set, because uh, this was found in the very early ones, little uh, battery mains jobs, this little motor here. Uh, mains transformer looks the same as they used to as well. A lot of the mechanicals look faintly familiar, or very familiar. But uh, unfortunately, despite the microchip preamp, they still use the old germanium transistors in this. And I was getting no sound at all through the right-hand channel, and the culprit was this little chap down here, AC188-01. Uh, sometimes called AC188-K as well. And uh, that had gone fat. It was doing a very strange thing indeed. Normally the tin whiskers on these well, everything I've found so far, more or less, has affected the junction itself inside, inside the germanium. A build-up of uh, metallic whiskers by electrolysis occurs, and this causes the transistor to go short circuit. But this one had actually failed in such a way that uh, I was getting a reading from the little legs to the casing, which I shouldn't with this at all. It should be infinite. So, uh, obvious what it was. Now, the trick is to try and get one with more or less the same readings on it. If you can get a matched pair of them, it's even better, because you just change the two. But uh, I hadn't got a matched pair like this. So, uh, search was on for one that was uh, more or less the same. And eventually I found one. Uh, they live here, underneath these heat sinks. They've both got their own heat sink, so uh, just a matter of undoing these screws and then uh, replacing the duff one, or duff ones. But uh, yeah, it's funny, this uh, 614 model, this isn't the first one I've had that's like this either, that's gone fat. I've had quite a few to do for other people that have been like this. So, uh, yeah, it's worth considering, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if it's got no sound through one channel or no sound through both channels, it's probably these little chaps have gone down. But uh, they are still available. They're a bit of a fiddle to get hold of. The latest lot I got came from the Czech Republic, of all places. So, uh, <laughs> was it the Czech Republic or Bulgaria? I can't remember. But... Uh, well, they seem to work all right, and that is the main thing, isn't it? It's uh, saved it from uh, being scrapped. It does actually sound rather good, this set, so uh, yeah, the next video I might uh, give a demonstration blast. Anyway, see you soon.